Hi everybody. Today I wanted to share a Franklin Covey order that I got recently and I don't normally do these kinds of videos but this one I did want to share with you because several reasons actually. Franklin Covey in my opinion is one of the least well-known companies out there. They've been in business for decades. I mean 30 to 40 years and there's just not a lot of press on them. I don't see a lot of people using their products and I think that's for a variety of reasons, which is a completely separate video, but I like them. I've been a long time customer. I originally bought, I think my first Franklin Covey planner like 25 years ago. I mean, so I've been following them for quite a while and had my own journey with them. The second thing is their website, in my opinion, is not that great. And you guys know I'm always just keeping it real. It's not terrible, but it's not great. When you go on their website to order, for one thing, you have to click, I think, three times. You go to Franklin Covey, and then you have to click on their store, and then you have to click on planners, and then you actually get to products and able to start looking through them. So that's that's not, that's annoying, I think. You should just be able to click right on the store and have the products showing up. And then when you are trying to look through the products, their descriptions are very vague. You get one picture usually. If they're feeling extremely generous, you'll get two or three at the most. If you click on more info tab, you think that that's a more detailed description and it's not, you usually get maybe one more sentence. So definitely a huge improvement could be made there. I am very much a detailed person, especially when I'm ordering online. I wanna know what the dimensions are. If it's a combination pack, exactly what pages are in there and how many. So I'm, that is another reason why I wanted to show you because it is very, very unclear on their website. What stemmed my order is, I'm gonna show you my very favorite thing in the world. And that is, sorry, I had to find it. That is this, and this is my, I've used this forever in my Classic, which is the, their A5 equivalent size binder. And this is the, what they call the pouch page finder. So it's been living in here for a very, very long time. And as you can see, it's nothing special, you know, just a clear bookmark. It's already punched and got the slits in it, so it's easily removable. But I just love the pouch part. You can stick anything in here. This is designed for the Franklin Covey planning system because they do have a very specific detailed system, which again, that's a separate video. But I really, really love this. I have used this in many, many different ways. And so I was thinking because, as you guys probably know, I acquired over the last year, I've always been an, an A5 type of girl, but I wanted to try personal size, which so I got the Malden. And of course, I was thinking, well, that bookmark is so fantastic. I should really get one for that. So I got this at Christmas time, and so I've been sitting on it for a while. But also my other planners, let me get these other ones out of the way, my other planners as well. So my Franklin Covey order was really spawned by all of my different planners that I was using besides Franklin Covey. But I knew that Franklin Covey had spiral planners. And so I it just got my wheels turning. I wonder what their accessories are for their spiral planners. So that is my thinking there. So this is what I ended up getting and also because all of their accessories were 20% off. You guys know I can't really buy anything on regular price if I can help it. 20% off with Franklin Covey is about the best you're going to get. I They're just a company that just does not have crazy good sales. Only if it's something is going on clearance are you really going to see it 50% off or more. That's just the way that they've run their business forever and ever and apparently that that's working for them so whatever. Okay, so here is the equivalent now of the ring bound. And so here's the spiral bound version of that. As you can see, it's the same kind of thing, just different over here. It's just kind of got an L shape that goes around the spirals. So I brought these two out because these are the two that I use the most. With a spiral, you're going to, pretty much you're either going to have this double wire binding right here or the single like the Erin Condren. I am using my day designer most right now. So I'm going to show you how these look in both of those because this did end up being a perfect fit for both of them. 
the hardest part here is lining it up and just going around which spiral. So as you can see, this is the A5, perfect right there. And I like that how it has kind of a, the design which makes it kind of a tab and sticking out. So it's perfect. So I'm actually gonna try the Franklin Covey planning system in my day designer to see how that works out. So this is gonna be perfect for that. And then let me show you how it looks in the Erin Condren. Let me get a blank page that doesn't have any stickers on it. So the, this is a little bit harder just because the spiral is closer together as far as which spiral to go around. There, I did it right the first time. That's great. So you see how it sticks out a little bit. Even in the Erin Condren, you could probably move it up even one more spiral, and it's just perfect. So the sky's the limit on these kinds of things. You can put any kind of tracking or lists or note paper, whatever you want in here. But I just love, love, love this. It's simple design, but kind of brilliant at the same time. So these are $2.95. So all of the prices that I'm going to quote, you just know I got 20% off of those. And then I also, when I was looking around, found these. These are called full page wire bound pouch page finders. So kind of a tongue, lots of tongue twister, lots of things to say. But as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing, but just double. So this one has just a little bit different design. And again, it's got the pouch that opens up like this. It does, I'm gonna try and see if I can shine the light on it. If you can see it, it looks like it has a textured finish or a pebbly surface. It's not though, it's completely smooth. So I think if you wanted to use things like, sorry, there's a dog hair. My dog, I love him to death, but he just sheds like crazy. Anyway. So if you wanted to use like a Sharpie permanent marker, a wet or a dry erase marker, these are gonna work perfectly fine on there. You're not gonna have a problem with that. And so here's how it looks. So you can see this is pretty much just double in the width, but the same kind of concept there. I can just think of a million things. So I ended up getting two of these. These were actually on clearance for 99 cents. If I do decide to do another Franklin Covey order in the next few months or so, and these are still here. I think I'm going to pick up another two because I love these so, so much. And I just have so many spiral planners and notebooks and journals that I could really use a lot of these. So that's how it looks in there. And then the last one I got along those same similar lines, this one is called the pouch, sorry, the wire bound sheet protector. And you get these in a two pack. And these are the same kind of thing, but just like a sheet protector, it is attached on three sides. So it's a top loading, whereas this one is just attached on the two sides. And so it opens up like that. So again, lots of things that I can think of to use these for. So these are the, a two pack for $3.95, which I still think that that's a great bargain. So I am happy with all of these. Definitely, these probably are my two favorites, and if you have to choose between these and these, if these are still here, I would, I would recommend, of course, not only the price, 99 cents, but also I like the design, how it's just a little bit more versatile, being a little bit more open like that. So that's how it looks in the Erin Condren. And then let me show you how these other two look in the Day Designer. So this one, which again is the full page wire bound pouch page finder is pretty much a perfect fit. It does hang over, I would say maybe half an inch at the very most, but it is flush with the tab. So that doesn't bother me. I, I still really like it in here. However, this one is a lot wider. As you can see, it hangs over way more. This is at least an inch, if not, you know, inch and a fourth or so. So this one definitely would not work in an A5 or the day designer type of ring bound. So that's another reason why I would suggest those other ones. But I really like these. These are good spends. I don't know why these are different. You see the how this one just has the four where it goes around the holes and then this one just has the two L-shaped hooky things. I don't know. That's just a design thing that whatever. They didn't ask me. But anyway, I I like all of those things. I'm definitely happy with those. So let me get these out of the way. And then the rest, these are still considered accessories. So I still got 20% off of these as well. And so I got the starter pack. So 
I, I know the Franklin Covey system inside and out, so I knew exactly what I wanted. I was looking for the compass cards, and I also wanted the, the personal size, the compact version of the bookmark. So I ended up ordering the starter pack. This is another reason why I was talking about they just don't do a great job. So in the starter pack, you just don't know all the stuff that you're going to get. I would say if you want more than one thing, get the starter pack because it's $8.95 and the bookmark alone is $2.95. And then these weekly compass sheets, they're at least $5.95. I can't remember the exact price of those. So already you've earned your money or you've gotten your money's worth and then you get a whole bunch more on top of that. If you only are looking for the bookmark, of course, it's gonna be cheaper just to order that separately. But with the elements that I wanted, I definitely think this is a good value. So the starter pack, really quickly, it is hole punched right here. These are labels for the tabs, dividers that you get. They have 20 that are already labeled and then eight down here that are blank. This space is completely blank. They don't have any tabs. They definitely, that's wasted space. They could have definitely put a whole nother row of, what is this, seven in there. And then here it is. I'm gonna show you what that looks like in the Malden. In case you're wondering, the, as you can see, the Filofax or any type of personal size ring bound system is across the board compatible with the Franklin Covey Compact or size three. However, the A5 or the classic size are not compatible with Franklin Covey because they have the seven holes right there. They have seven instead of the six. So just in case you're wondering if you're going to order with Franklin Covey. So that's perfect fit. I love this. This is completely what I wanted and it's going to work out great in there. And we'll keep that to the side. So you get one bookmark and then you get their compass cards, which this is part of their system, which I'm not going to explain in this video, but it goes with your weekly compass. So the most important thing, and it goes through the, the roles in your big rocks. So physical, social, emotional, mental, spiritual, and then your roles and your rocks down here, you get seven of those. This is very tiny lines. I measured them, they're four millimeter. So just keep that in mind. I prefer to write with a 0.3 pen and I have very small handwriting. So this is completely fine with me, but if you have larger handwriting, you're either gonna have to use two lines or you're gonna have to think about going up to their classic A5 size. Then on the back, again, really dig in these thin lines. And then at the bottom, I love that they have these reminders here. I don't know if that's going to focus, but it's the plan weekly and the plan daily. I've been having problems with my focusing, but it's just a reminder. It says for weekly, it says review roles, choose your big rocks and schedule your week. And for planning daily, it says check, check daily's, today's appointments, make a realistic list. I like that priorities, ABC, one, two, three, and then actually that's it. Just those three things. So I like those kinds of reminders, just very visual, good for me. You do get 26 of these. So 26 times two is your 52 weeks. I love it when companies give you enough for the entire year, or whatever you're using it for. These are already perforated. You can see they fold really easily right there. If you didn't want to, if you wanted to store them in, as you can see, they're already hole punched. So that is fantastic. Or they're easily ripped out and they are made to go into this bookmark. That is the genius of Franklin Covey. It's gonna be hard to see, but Here's the perforated line right there. As you can see, there's about a half inch plastic. So plenty of room to go in there. So completely love those. And that is something that you can order these separately. And in the starter pack, they did not tell you how many you were getting, but you do get enough for the entire year. That's just a junk page. This is the planner guide. I think you get four or five pages of their planning. I have mentioned before, whenever companies give you these types of pages. I'm a nerd and I always read these because I want to know where they're coming from. Franklin Covey is very much a top-down, big picture planning kind of company, which I really love. Here's all the activities you do with your values, your roles, some your starting questions, be, do, and have. If you're familiar with the Franklin Covey system, this is all a review for you, but your tribute statements, evaluation, and then you go into your mission statement, coming up with a mission statement. These you cannot buy separately, but 
This entire starter pack, everything that's in here, I do know that this does come if you order any of their planner inserts. You don't need to order any of these separately. So unless you're not ordering the inserts and you just wanted these like I did, then you'll just need to know that. So then you go into their goal planning pages. I like these pages a lot. Unfortunately, their goal planning pages, you can only order them in the classic A5 size. That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why that the compact personal are not available separately, but you either have to order the inserts or order a starter pack to get the personal size goal planning pages. So that's a, a big flaw there. So you only get five of those pages and then you get a sample of their financial pack. So a monthly expense tracker, a budget worksheet. This is the yearly income and expense tracker and an auto tracker, personal information page, medical record, special days, website tracker. You get one of those. Toll free numbers, we don't care, weights and measures, and a map, not really care about those either. And then you get eight of name and address pages. You can order these separately. And then you also get some tabs. There we go, that's just a cardstock piece of paper. You get 12 tabs, and there you go. I'll let you look at those if you want to. But you're either gonna love these or hate these because they're already labeled, but if you don't like them, I'll, as I showed you at the beginning, you do have some extra tabs, but this is completely set up for the Franklin Covey planning system. So it's perfect. So out of this, you can order the bookmark, the compass cards, the address pages separately, everything else you need to order in here. The finance pages is too, but I didn't really count that because there's not a lot of pages. The next thing I ordered was the progressive task list. This is separate and, and distinctly different from the weekly compass pages. When I'll show you those comparison in just a second. This is what I was talking about where they didn't give us enough for a full year and they give you 26 cards. This is regular, regular paper. I would say it's nice heavy paper. I don't know what the, the weight is on this. I, I haven't done a pen test or anything, but I feel really comfortable about this paper. This actually is very thick cardstock. So you get 26 cards, but it's 13 sets of cardstock. So 13 times two is where you get your 26. This one, they talked about weekly or monthly, but they didn't give you enough for both or either one actually, of course, monthly, but weekly, if you're, I wanted to use one of my monthly, one of my weekly. And so in hindsight, I should have ordered at least two of these, if not three so I could have enough for the 52 weeks plus the 12 months. So this one is where it's different. This is kind of more of a big picture. This is a running task list. They call it a progressive task list. This is basically like your GTD system when you start organizing it. So I've talked before about Franklin Covey is really the originator of, you know, the business world is the originator of the symbols of the, so the bullet journaling system, they just took it and ran with it. And I just popped that off, but that's okay. So here are your symbols that they already tell you how to use them. And then the arrow right here is where you write your symbols. And then the other part of the shaded area is where you write the priorities. So your A, B, C, one, two, three. So it's either A1, A2, A3, etc. I do like that they have three shaded areas right here. So you can divide this up, whether it's, you know, social, personal, family types of thing, or work, volunteering, at home, those kinds of things. I really like that. And it, as you can see, this is also punched already. The holes are still in there, but easily to take out. And then the back page is exactly the same. It just doesn't have the Franklin Covey logo on it. I'm trying to get that in frame there. It just has that same thing. So here is something that is odd to me. You guys know I pay attention to these things. You see how this is designed where it curves up to the left and the bookmark is designed and it's curved up to the right. These also fit in there. And so I just, I don't understand that because this is the front side, the top side. I can see how the back side wouldn't work. So obviously the back side's going to look cute and looks like it fits in there, but I don't know why the front side is because this is the way the bookmark goes. Just things that make you go, hmm. So anyway, I really like these. I wish I had ordered more. 
Okay, the next thing, you're not gonna be surprised about this, is the financial plans. And I think Pen Pixie is the one who did a complete review on these, so I'll go through these really quickly. But it does, like I said, give you four sample pages in your starter pack, but if you're like me and really into finances, you're gonna to want to order the financial plans. So you get 12 undated and unlabeled tabs over here. Here are your labels. So there's 21 that are labeled and you get 24 that are unlabeled. So that's really nice. And they did use up the space a lot better than the other ones. So that's cool. And this is, the holes are there if you wanna put those in your planner. So this is exactly what you get in the planner or the pack, but they don't tell you the number. So that is what I was talking about, a little bit annoying. You would like to know the details more. Details, people. Okay, so here are, I'm just gonna flip through these really quick. You do get 12 of the monthly budget worksheet pages. So that's fantastic, right? 12 months, you get 12 pages. Totally makes sense, I love that. So it's front and back for each month. You get 12 of the monthly expense trackers. And it's just simple like check register type of thing. So that's good, one yearly income. So if you order the starter pack, you're gonna end up with two of those. Bill tracker, you get only one of those. And this is divided into the first six months and then the second six months. Debt elimination, they give you three, oh Lord, I hope people don't have this much debt, but they, it's like 20 something lines on each page and so that's six. That's a lot of debt. But anyway, I am gonna probably end up using this for my mortgage because I'm on step six of Dave Ramsey. Financial accounts, you get two pages of that and there's three on each page, so that's enough for 12 financial accounts. Uh, this is where I get a little bit confused. I don't know if in my brain what's the difference between financial accounts and a yearly investment tracker. For me, those are kind of the same thing. I don't know. I'm just I'm debating because savings and investments kind of are all the same thing to me. But investments, you have enough for there's four on each side, and you get two of those. So that is 16 investments, personal property. And I'm assuming because they don't give you a ton, so it's six, so enough space for 24 because you got two pages here. So 24, I'm assuming that's your big ticket items, jewelry and appliances and things that have warranties. And then your home project record, you get two of those. And apparently you're only supposed to have two home projects. None of these you can order separately. So if you need more pages, you have to order a completely separate finance um, supplement, so that's kind of a bummer. Auto information, so again, you're gonna end up with two of those if you order the starter pack, and then the annual summary of business expenses. I don't think I said the price on this one. The finance one, let me look really quick. That is, okay, the financial plans, dollars and cents is $7.95, so 20% off of that. Then I got a yearly fold-out calendar, obviously for 2017. And really, I got this. I know that there are printables and things you can buy on Etsy. Printables and I have a very sordid history, and this was $275, well worth the money for me. There's enough space. I think I'm just gonna add some washi tape on here. And so I, my husband's business and travel and work schedule is just absolutely crazy. And that's what I bought this for, is just I gotta keep track of them. Because I live with the man, can hardly keep track of things. So. That was well worth the money for me. Then I got, these were the extras that I got. So lined pages, and I got two sets of lined pages. As you can see, they look exactly the same, except for the picture. And then I think they could have done a better job labeling these because down the very, very bottom in very small writing, this says the seven habits. And then down here is the seasons. So if you look at this and you're like, I want, that what's it called you can't really tell until you literally look at the fine print so let me go with the seven habits first I was very disappointed in these I'm gonna be frank about that I was hoping because it was the seven habits that on the note pages there were gonna be some quotes or lines from the book or something like that there's absolutely nothing and 
the icon or the picture, the image does not change at all. It's just this tan color with black and white. Highly disappointed in these. I do love the size of the lines. It's still that four millimeter size, so that is great. Obviously, I can add my own stuff on here, but I, if I had to do it all over again, I would not buy these. I don't think they're worth the money. These are $5.95, which I think is expensive for a pack of 50, but you know, live and learn. However, I do really like these. These are the Seasons one. This goes, if you're familiar with their line, they do have a Seasons planner inserts. It's absolutely the same exact thing as far as the pictures are concerned. So same thing, it is 50 pages. And obviously four seasons, you can't divide that evenly, but come on, Franklin Covey, I feel like you could do a better job because what they ended up doing was giving you two sets of the winter pages. So you end up with 20 winter pages and then 10 of the other seasons. I don't know, that just is a little bit, doesn't make sense. It just does not make sense. Anyway, okay, so here's the winter, what it looks like if you haven't seen. So nice color around it. And then it's got very faded image on the lines, which I do really like. And it's the same front and back. So there's what winter looks like. Here is spring with some flowers. And then summer, of course, is going to be pretty. It's got some, you can't really tell, but maybe you can there. It's just got the grass in the meadow. I don't plan on using this paper as like my main paper for each season. I just wanted one or two sheets of seasonal just for a few specific things that I'm doing. And so there's autumn and then we're back to winter. All right, almost done. Last but not least, I did splurge and get this. Now Franklin Covey has always been a very professional, stoic, some would say boring company. They have recently teamed up with My Mind's Eye and come up with a decorative line with embellishments and decorative inserts. And also their binders are a lot prettier and cuter and fancier. So I don't know what's going on, but it's, I think it's a really good change and very much needed. So I splurged with the accessory sale and bought this one. This is called the Planner Love Dashboard Coral. This was $4.95. And I bought this because I love, you know, the gold over here. It's, it's, it is gold. I thought it might be kind of a rose gold, but it is gold. Of course, as you can see with the seven holes, this is only available in their classic A5 size. I bought it because I liked the colors, I liked the different alternating lines, and I planned on using this as kind of a whiteboard, dashboard kind of a thing in my Franklin Covey binder. However, it's, you know, it's cute, but I wouldn't buy this again, quite honestly. I think it's a little bit too expensive for what it is, and it is a little bit shiny, as you can see, but it is not laminated. I don't, I don't feel like I could on a long-term basis use wet erase markers or, or a Sharpie or something on here and not have it be permanently colored. You know what I'm talking about if you've used it that way. So I would, I would feel much more comfortable. I think I would have to laminate this myself for me to feel comfortable doing it that way without ruining it. So that was kind of a bummer. It does have really nice gold foil dots on the back. But I think overall, it should have been laminated. And as you can see, it's it's cardstock, but it doesn't even feel as thick as those progressive task lists. It's not that thick. So these are thicker than the dashboard. So yeah, this is only really just those two things where I'm like, you know, not really, in my opinion, worth the money. It's very cute. And like I said, I probably will end up laminating this to get it and use my get my money's worth out of it so I can use it, but I think there's better products out there as far as this is concerned. But anyway, that's my order. I know this is a very long video, but there's just a lot to say about Franklin Covey just because there's not a lot out there. So I hope this has been helpful if you are in the market for some of Franklin Covey's products. I do think that overall that they are really great company. Obviously they're doing something right if they've been around for you know 30 plus years. Thanks for watching you guys and I will talk to you again soon.